STV, your TV. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and thanks for joining us into this newscast. One headline in this news, Senator Jean de Melo takes over from Elizabeth Tamanjong as Secretary General of the Social Democratic Front Party, the main opposition party in Cameroon. His appointment was made known today in Yaoundé. Welcome to join us in this complete 8 p.m. English newscast on STV. We begin in Bamenda, where discussions between the teachers trade unions and the interministerial ad hoc commission set up to look into the problems raised by the trade unions are ongoing in the northwest governor's office with only three of the 18 plus two extra points raised so far. Let's have an excerpt of Paul Gogomo Migo, Minister Director of Cabinet at the Prime Minister's office addressing the trade unionists in Bamenda today. Employment of teachers has just started throughout the national territory. In particular, the Northwest and Southwest regions received about 100 teachers out of the less than 200, which is the first step by the Minister of Secondary Education. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to dialogue as children of one nation. I urge you all to have a constructive spirit during our discussions so that by the end of this day, we must have contributed positively to consolidate our cherished English speaking subsystem of education in Cameroon. I call on all of you to work as one man so that we all come out from here happy that we have done something in order to cut the way forward for a wonderful English speaking subsystem of education. I want to thank you very much for your kind attention. We stay in Bamenda to talk about the visit of the president of the National Communication Council, Peter Isoka, who was there to caution media men on the ethical approach as per the ongoing crisis in the English part of Cameroon. Terence was part of the meeting. In a bid to ensure that press men and women do not in times of crisis report in a manner that can instead stir up the anger of the population and incite more violence, the president of the National Communication Council, Peter Risoka, was in the Northwest region today to have a consultation with press men and women so as to build their capacity on objective reporting and respect of ethics during times of crisis. The government discussed a number of crucial professional issues, notably respect for ethics and deontology, respect for state authority, the promotion of social peace and uh, national unity and territorial integrity. Following the, these quarters, exchanges, the government unanimously enjoined the region's journalists to be responsible in news gathering and dissemination especially in times of crisis. The consultation with the administrative leaders of the Northwest region on the problem of the closing down of Radio Hachikoko. A decision has been taken that the programs that are concerned on that radio station shall be suspended henceforth until further notice and that uh, the seal that was put on the Kot Koko radio station had been broken and the ban lifted. <laughs> The good news of the upliftment of the ban on Radio Hot Cocoa in Amanda relieves the journalist of the media house. The intent will be commensurate with uh, whatever we've suffered uh, against any other staff in the station. But let me say the staff of Radio Hot Cocoa Horizon Television is very highly qualified and that uh, the error that was identified with the station was a mishap and we know that it, such things don't always happen in Radio Hot Cocoa. The visit of the president of the NCC comes at a time when the trend of activities in the region can often push journalists to become very sentimental. They were thus advised to avoid sentiments and report objectively. We now take on our lead story. Senator Jean Tomelo of the SDF at the Upper House of Parliament has been appointed as Secretary General of the party over a year after his predecessor, Elizabeth Tamajong. 
Our reporter in Yaoundé, Larry Netabaje, sought to know his roadmap for the SDF party. For the first time in the history of the Social Democratic Front, the SDF, a francophone has been appointed as Secretary General of the party by the National Chairman Nijon Fundi, January 11, 2017. Senator Jean Trumelo has been appointed as Secretary General at a time when stakes of the party are high. Uh, 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 really, that I have is to, is to go to the field and, and mobilize the people to register on the electoral list because I have not tried to prepare the, the 2018 elections. That will be my occupation now. That is the, the Secretary General is the one who is in charge of the, of the organizing the, the convention. And now I will, after my appointment at the Secretary General, my vision now is to prepare that, that convention. We will hold that April 28th, 29th, and the 30th April. And I think God will help us and help me to be on task for that post. The Anglophone problem currently making the nation uneasy is a confrontation which this son of the West region must face in his capacity as the engine of the leading opposition political party with an Anglophone origin. The SDF have a position since we create the party at the Federation and we think the Federation can resolve the problems. And uh, in the future, we, uh, yes, we will have a press conference in Yaoundé and the national chairman will explain for the all Cameroonian the position of the party and the vision of the party about the Federation. Senator Jean Tumelu, who is the president of the SDF parliamentary group at the Upper House of Parliament, will resign as the West Regional President of the SDF this 14th of January. 2017. He has also been a member of parliament at the National Assembly from 1997 to 2002 and now a predecessor of Elizabeth Tamanjong who resigned as Secretary General of the SDF on February 12, 2015. In education, the Douala City Council has donated 500 benches and other teaching materials to seven primary and secondary schools here in Douala. The action falls in line with the social responsibility demands of the council to ensure quality education in Cameroon. Peter Sosie reports. It is an annual tradition which ties with the social responsibility actions of the Douala City Council to all schools in need of didactic materials and up-to-date equipment. 500 is the number of school benches handed to seven primary and secondary schools in the economic capital Thursday. Also in this package, covered by the 2016 council budget, are didactic materials. The government delegate to the Douala City Council, Dr. Fritz Tonentone, explains that aid to primary and secondary schools is given on the basis of the peculiar needs of each institution. The aim is to ensure that teachers, pupils and students are in the best teaching and learning conditions. The gesture comes at a time when knowledge dispensation and acquisition in most schools across the economic capital is marred by dilapidating infrastructure and poor sanitary conditions. The city council has to take its responsibilities. School authorities have saluted the move while pledging to put the equipment into good use. We now take on this brief. Cameroon's Minister of Agriculture has banned the importation and commercialization of pesticides that contain the metalaxyl molecule. According to experts at the ministry, the measure is to ensure that cocoa produced is of good quality contrary to what the chemical produces leading to cancer upon consumption. Henceforth, cocoa farmers would have to devise new ways of fighting the cocoa blight in Cameroon. Concerning the 2017 finance law and increase in taxes, our reporter in Yaoundé, Larinetta Paje, sought to know why communal stamp with a face value of 600 CFA is yet to be available. She visited the Directorate General of Taxation. As prescribed by the 2017 finance law in Cameroon, the price of communal stamp since January 1st has witnessed an increase from 200 francs CFA to 600 francs CFA. The stamp which bears a face value of 600 francs is not available, yet the taxation department says there is no need for panic. It is the face value which is important. The only current difficulty is that, rather than buying one communal stamp for 200 francs, you will need to buy three, 
to make up for the communal stamp whose price now stands at 600 francs. The decision to increase the price of communal stamp from 200 francs to 600 francs has been taken to favor the activities of decentralization. Si vous voulez tarifaire du terme communal, c'est simplement pour s'arrimer à... If the price of communal stamp has been raised to 600 francs, it is to strike a balance since fiscal stamp had been raised to 1,000. But the basic intention is to give councils the financial resources for them to better manage their communities as principles of decentralization demand. The delay in the production of communal stamp worth 600 francs has been caused by several constraints at the level of the Directorate General of Taxation and the Ministry of Finance due to other procedural activities like the simplification of tax payment procedures in Cameroon. In Marwa, over 65 billion CFA francs has been adopted as budget to run activities of the town this 2017 in the extreme north. The money is to boost public investment and economic activities. The information was made public by Governor Mijiyewa Bakari during the launching of the 2017 public investment budget in the extreme north of Cameroon. Specialized police units in the littoral region have received 38 motorbikes to enable them to be more effective in fighting crimes in the area. They have been told to put them into use in a ceremony chaired today by the governor of the littoral region, Peter Sossi. These motorbikes, 38 in number, are being handed to special police units in the littoral region to facilitate their mission, that of combating crime and ensuring the safety of persons and goods. And we want to tell uh, our population to give uh, confidence to our policemen. They have to work hand in hand so that all the bandits we have here in Douala will be afraid of what they want to do. The gesture from the General Delegation of National Security falls in line with ongoing reforms to modernize the National Police Corps. Little Governor Samuel Dodone Ivaha Diboa chairing the symbolic event Thursday attest to this. We have got many vehicles before and today we have those motorcycles that are going to help our policemen to work uh, very hard in the field. For optimal output, recipients of the bikes have been warned to use them responsibly. Failure to heed to this call will attract punitive measures. Use those material at good fathers. It is only what I can say. The literal delegate for national security, Ramon Esogo, has underscored efforts made by the head of state and the general delegation of national security to beef up the efficiency of the core, which includes but are not limited to constant provision of uniforms, transmission and ICT equipment, vehicles, bicycles, and the creation of new police posts. Cameroon's Minister of Public Health, Andre Mamafuda, has presented a balance sheet of the health situation in Cameroon for the year 2016. Let's get more in this excerpt. Concerning 2017, we continue in the four domains. It's important to maintain vaccination. But uh, my more preoccupation will be the younger because we have to increase action concerning cancer against uh, uh, cervical. And uh, we know that it's important to maintain our country without outbreak. And uh, for concerning malaria, we will have a second campaign of chemo prevention in the far north and north, where it's uh, more important because the malaria is seasonal and you can reach the elimination of malaria in the far north. And uh, the second aspect is uh, HIV. HIV is important and uh, you have to go to the generation without HIV. Then we, we help people reach their facility to do the test because uh, it's better if you are seropositive to the table. And I uh, will uh, say that the treatment is very, very easy. One tablet per day is not difficult. The health facility, the head of state decide emergency plan. This emergency plan has, have, uh, have to build eight referral hospital in the different regions. 
and the other region will see the project. And I hope that uh, 2018 to inaugurate this health reference in the different uh, capital of the regions. And uh, we continue with the base because each year you have more 100 health centers that we launch the construction is more and more important. That is, uh, in summary, that we will have hope that we will have all elements will permit the head of state to take the decision, the final decision. It's very important. That was Minister Andre Mamafuda telling Cameroonians what to expect in the health domain for this year, 2017. We end this 8 p.m. newscast. Thanks for your kind attention. TV, your TV.